Hey guys, I'm Stephen Kessling, friend and training partner Scotty. Here's how to do a clock choke. A clock choke is a choke that goes across the neck. It's sort of a one-handed choke. You typically do it when the guy's in turtle. The guy's in turtle, step one is to not let him get away. So I'm going to take my knee, drive it between his knee and his elbow, here, and put my weight on him. Now it's going to be harder for him to move. That's step one. Step two is to open up the lapel here and get a grip across the neck. If he was up, it would look like this. I would open up the lapel, then I'd come across the neck, and I'd go here. I don't need to go super crazy deep. I just need to go fairly deep. I need to make a line straight across the neck. Step one, knee in between the elbow and the knee, put my weight on. Step two, come under the armpit, open up the lapel, you pull it down, then get a good grip here. Step three, there are two variations. Variation one, is you grab the wrist here. Variation two, is you grab the other lapel here. I prefer variation one. This stops him from being able to move. The next step, step four, is I slide my ribs onto his neck. There are people who try and do it from here, but he can move. I wanna take my weight and chop it right here. So I'm going to slide forward almost like I'm falling off of his body. I put my own head on the ground. Then I begin to walk my legs forward. Just from another angle. Come here, please. Step one, knee between his elbow and knee. Put my weight on his back. Step two, open up the lapel. Pull it this way, grab it here. Step three, grab the wrist. Step four, slide my weight forward so that all my weight is on his neck, and then begin to walk around. The reason it's called a clock choke is because your feet are moving like the hands of a clock. It's a super powerful choke. I remember when I went back in the day when Hoist Gracie was God. Hoist Gracie just won a whole bunch of UFCs. We all thought he was completely unbeatable. He's amazing, he was incredible, but he's not unbeatable. He got choked out by Walid Ishmael, a Carlson Gracie guy, using his technique. And we had never seen it before. Like, oh my God, did you see what just happened? Proves two things. Number one, that anybody can be beaten on any given day. And number two, that the clock choke is an amazing move. Give it a try. That's the same as you've learned before? Well, I don't, I, I've never slidden that far forward. Like, I kind of do it more from the back when I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. And when I'm down there, I'm feeling, okay, this is like a really tight choke. So when you slide forward, it loosens. And I think, oh, good, I can get out of this. And then when you start walking forward, like, it takes all of that slack out. And it's like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's it, having the pressure on the back of the neck makes a huge difference.